kids, this is how I first met your shoes. It wasn't all pretty and nice from the start. We had to give in a lot of effort and work into it to make it this beautiful. Gotta clean that shit first. One eternity later. At last this shit is dried and now I'm cleaning it with some nail polish lip remover because that's what was told to me in instructions. I don't know why. So this was my inspiration for today's project. I found it on Pinterest, of course, and I love it. I've always wanted this cartoon style thing and I'm using alcohol markers because I'm not rich enough to use those angel paints called angelus or something. Ideally, you should use leather paints called those angelus ones, but uh, since I'm very broke, I'm just using this. It works for temporary basis, but you want anything permanent. I do not want anything in my life to be permanent because I believe change is the only constant. Except my broke ass because that never changes. You might have seen by now that this is not Adidas Superstar shoes. It's just a random cheap one which I found near my store some years ago. And I just liked it and I didn't even know about Adidas Superstar. I am not that brand conscious alright. But these days I've been getting into a lot of shoes and I wanted something unique and customized to myself. And But I'm not rich enough as I've already told you that I'm not. Okay so I just made it because let's be honest. I can't waste 10,000 rupees on one shoes right now. If I get rich enough, I might someday, but not right now. This right here, outlining the laces was the most time consuming task and everything was really easy. So you can you can really try it at home. You should definitely use fabric paint for these laces, but I use the markers only because I'm lazy guys. Magic. Now that the laces are done, let's get back to the other shoe. Just repeat the process again. Wow. Okay, so you really don't need any inspiration or image to just copy it throughout your shoes. You just eyeball it and just make lines wherever you want to. Make sure that you outline every single creases and uh, folds in the shoe. That way it would look more cartoonish. To be honest, I don't really like this shoe. That's why I even had the courage to draw all of this. But uh, yeah, I do like it. I used to wear it um, some years ago, but not anymore since I got the chunky shoes. I really like chunky shoes. I don't know why. They're so cute and it makes me also taller. So that's a different thing, but still. Abracadabra kiligilichu. With so much magic and my hard work, the shoes is finally complete. And just look at it. It looks so pretty. And it's so easy. Really, I'm telling you, if you want to add some charm into your normal looking shoes, do it. It's really, really easy. And it will get removed also. If you just got, get bored out of it, just remove it with some nail paint remover and you're done. I would really suggest you do this because this is kind of in trend right now. And um, anyone can do it. You don't even need art skills for this. You just got to draw outlines that any kid can do okay just tell your nephew or niece or brother or sister to draw and it will be pretty cool yeah also we are coming to the end of this video so if you can like share and subscribe it would mean a lot also a comment would be good i didn't have a white alcohol marker to draw the white lines on the black ones black stripes but uh, you can just use pen for now like it's really temporary you don't need something permanent then just use it like i am doing it here now it's time for the final reveal with my touch of modeling that i am not at all good at but you are lucky to see it so go on 